Hey guys, Kale with Melling Engine Parts here in the tech department today. We're going to go over the uh, 3.6 Pentastar um, timing procedure. Um, this particular 3.6 uses the 3-1038S timing set, so that's what we're going to hang on this engine today. And um, we'll go ahead and get this old timing torn off and um, put the new stuff on and show you guys the procedure for that. We want to start out with the engine at top dead center. Um, how we verify that we've got it there is the holes in the camshafts are pointing straight up on both the right and left bank. Right hand bank, you want to verify that you've got the slashes pointing at each other inward. The left hand bank, we want to make sure that we've got the arrows pointing at each other inward. Down on the crankshaft, there's a dimple mark. We want to make sure that that's in the nine o'clock position and aligned with the main cap to engine block surface. When we've got all those things set up, we'll install our cam holding tools. Now these tools, I get a lot of calls anytime I do a timing video talking about the special tools I've got. These I bought on Amazon. I got the whole set for the 3.6 Pentastar. It was less than 20 bucks for the tool kit. So if you guys need the tools for this, um, go ahead and take a look at Amazon for those. All right guys, we'll start by pulling off our uh, oil pump to crankshaft timing setup. To do that, we'll start with the little, uh, the little tensioner shoe here. Pull that off. Then we can pop the bowl out of the oil pump sprocket. Take our sprocket and our chain, hang on to our bolt. From there, we'll go ahead and we'll move up to our right bank timing. First thing we're gonna wanna do is take our tensioner off for that. Pull off our uh, tensioner arm. Come back in and pull off our guide. And we can go ahead and pull our chain off. Okay guys, so we got the right bank timing off. Let's move on to the left bank now. We'll start by pulling the tensioner out of there. Let's pull the bolts out of our tensioner and our chain guide for our crank to idler sprocket. Get those out of the way. Now we can pull our bolt out of the idler sprocket. Once we've got that done, we can go ahead and get our, pull the chain out a little bit, then you can have enough room to get the tensioner shoe out for the left side timing. Um, from there, we can go ahead and pull the bolts out of our chain guide on the left side. Take the timing chain off our left bank. Get rid of that, pull that guide out of there. And we can go ahead and pull our idler sprocket and our crank sprocket off as well. All right, guys, so we've got all that off from there now. We can go ahead and take our crank sprocket. We wanna take the blue link on the chain and line it up with the timing mark on the sprocket. Um, these timing marks can be hard to see, especially if the lighting's bad. So I like to take a paint pen and just hit them with a, a yellow paint pen just so they stand out a little bit better. When we put this on, we wanna make sure that um, the timing mark on the idler sprocket is at noon. It doesn't really matter what time zone you're in, just noon. So we get that on, we'll put the bolt in. Just, just to hold it. And then we wanna start wrapping our uh, chain to the left bank. So we've got two blue links and one gold. The gold link's gonna align with the timing mark on the idler sprocket. The two blue ones are gonna hit your timing marks on your camshafts. So get it around those two first. 
I'm going to slide our guide in. That guide can be a little difficult. Chain wrapped around. We want to make sure that our timing marks lined up down here on the idler sprocket. There's our chain on that side. We can go ahead and get our um, bolts in for our guide. Then we'll take our tensioner shoe, kind of hoop it on the chain, get that over the pin, get everything kind of pushed back there, get the bolt started for the tensioner. Okay, so we've got our left bank timing on now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the guide in and the tensioner in for the idler to crank sprocket. So we'll start with this. There's a little uh, alignment peg on there that goes in the hole there. Take a bolt and get that started. Um, take our tensioner. Put that in here. We'll run these bolts down. We're going to go ahead and um, torque these bolts to 106 inch pounds because we're not going to be able to access that bolt once we get the right hand timing in place. Okay, good with those. So now we can move on to our right bank timing. Um, kind of the same deal as the left. We've got two colored links for the cams, one for the idler pulley. So we'll start with the two up on the cams. Bring it down, loop it, make sure that we hit the, the timing mark on the idler. We'll go ahead and take our tensioner shoe. Get our tensioner shoe slid into place. Chain moved on us, so we'll get that back where it needs to be. Take our guide slide it down in. Now there's three short bolts that we took out. The short bolts hold this guide on, the, the, the guide that's metal. Let's get those on there. Then we can take our tensioner for the right bank, get that into place. Once we've got all those on, we'll go ahead and um, At this point, we're good to go ahead and hit all these T30s. We'll take them all down, um, and then we can go back and torque them along with our T45 there in the uh, idler sprocket. Okay, so all those T30s get 106 inch pounds. And then it, the T45 here gets uh, 18 foot pounds. Okay. Now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and get our oil pump chain on there. So there's a little dot on the oil pump chain sprocket. Now the oil pump also has a, it's kind of a D-shaped alignment mark to get the chain on there. Now we can get our oil pump sprocket on, get that lined up. This once again is a T45 uh, headed bolt. Once we get that in, we can take our, our tensioner, slide it over the pin. and then take the spring, pull the tensioner back and slide it into place. Once we do that, we wanna to, um, torque this bolt to 18 foot pounds, just like we did the idler sprocket. So that's torqued and that's our timing. Oh, now we go back and uh, we can go back and pull all the pins out to release our tensioners. Everything's in and tight. Go back and check all your timing marks just to make sure nothing moved on you. And that's all there is to it, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.